Ultimate. Whoever my kun follows up on, if Finn hits an ultimate with Sitsuwani, somebody gets completely popped. Interesting to see. I think Excel is also taking a page out of the book of, we're just going to engage on you, hopefully, and we're going to not make it too... that advantage that they can gain. Marang, no flash, but Markun has his as he's looking towards the mid lane. Marang going to come in for the count again. Larson gets knocked up. Nuke Duck dives across the wall as well, and Larson trying to dodge around this, but Excel have got his number, and they've got their man. First blood over to Nuke Duck. He steals away the Cataclysm, and he's going to bring down the walls. A double for Nuke Duck. Beautiful play from XL and a great gank from Markoon. The flash control. And now Vi is making her way down. Yeah, so now Finn's just going to come back with the recall. He's going to have mana up. I still think the top lane turret will go down with his best effort here. And Harold coming through. Actually, no, it's still three plates. So the charge won't be enough to kill it. It will get it down to one plate. And of course, the bulwark, the more exactly. plates fall down, the tankier it becomes. So it's hard for the next one to deal with it there. Trim is going to get knocked up, but gets the charm. Mickey flashes away. Execute is enough. Patrick secures his first tashing of the game. Nuke Duck now on the chase has the flash, deals away the on the hunters. Comp <laughs> it's a little bit shocked that Nuke Duck decides to use it. He's going to get back towards this dragon. Second dragon of the game for XL. They'll get another plate down towards that bottom side as Rogue looked to try and get something on top. And I missed how much gold Patrick just cashed in, but I see he's got a 1.6k gold lead right now, and he is very oh, dead. We'll take that one down as we look for the damage in the mid lane. Larson oversteps, and Markun and Nukta very willing to take the third kill of the game for the XL mid. And just what a great early game from XL. He has so that much push. Can we quickly see XL's vision? What does XL see right now? Not Trimby. Not the Trimby. Answer. They don't have information just yet. There's actually they have control over the river, but the only things they know is that Odo Omni has joined and Trimby is stuck in behind. Mickey. 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 Trimby gets the knock up. Mickey does have Merc treads here. Could look for the jump across the wall, but no flash for him. Means that Larson secures his first kill of the game. And that's so pivotal when you're playing right off their own. Flash is available for both the AD carries. Importantly, Trimby didn't use his flash or the quickness. Trimby. Jump across the wall, Markoon going in, but it's only onto Trimby. Not really the target you want, but instead, they go forward with the season to Good stopwatch by Trimby. Has the quickness out of this if he wants it. Instead, Battle Dances back to his teammates. Mickey now locked up. One support went in and the other one died as Odo Omne now trying to fight Finn down towards the bottom side. A 4v5 perhaps for XL. A good Everfrost coming out from Nuke Duck Patrick. And it was get the axes in. Odo, flash. Odo flashes, flash across the wall. Good from Patrick. Knock back, not going to hit here. The Dragon aggro, trim below, Finn stepping forward. Glacial Prison already used. Nuke Duck, full HP, full mana. It's got to do something in this fight. Patrick trying to heal up with the Immortal Shield Bow as Rogue advanced. Cataclysm. Patrick, no flash, does have the exhaust. Odo going in as well. Patrick knocked back. Patrick taken out. And now Rogue can really open up. Comic to the flash away from Nuke Duck. Markoon looking for it as well, but the stopwatch from Nuke Duck will only buy himself a second. Knocked back into the waiting arms of Larson as Rogue win the fight. XL got overconfident. They thought that with Nuke Duck being full health, they could still win that fight, but Rogue had the numbers advantage and they played it well. After Patrick lost his flash, Maorang held on to the ultimate and waited for that opportunity. The moment that he found it, Rogue was quick to pounce and now they find themselves with the gold lead and a dragon to boot. Oh, Mickey getting caught off here again. No flash and Odo and Mickey. We went from praising him to now seeing him make a couple of mistakes in quick succession, getting caught out, going a bit too deep in the last play here. Having to burn his ultimate that's, seems to be slipping away. That's the thing, and this also now with the Drake being gone, that's like that early soul, it's not coming through. You bought yourself five extra minutes. Now Rogue could be the team that excels on the map, and Nuke Duck might be caught off by the rotations coming through. Where are you gonna go, Nuke Duck Cataclysm? But you can't dash through the worked ground. Nuked up pops the stopwatch, but the rest of the team is not here. It is a Zonia, so it will come back out. Not too much wasted there by Nuked up. But he's not standing. Rogue likely not fully informed of this, but you can see the pings coming down. Rogue, no. XL, no, something's going wrong, and that's Mickey Corn. Misses the dredge line as well. If he hits the ball there, maybe he gets away, but Rogue, catch out Mickey. Markoon didn't want to step up, didn't have his flash. Mickey thought he could, and now. Baron started for Rogue. Now, Markoon does have his flash up. He has the smite available. Can XL get the steal? 5,000 HP on it. XL, your playoff hopes hang in the balance. Difficult weekend ahead of you if you lose this game as Malvern goes in. Trimby diving forward as well on the back line. Nuke with a good quickness will distract him. Lots of damage from the Whirling Death as well, but Comp is still alive. Glacial Prison coming out as Finn looks for that back line. Comp surviving though, and now Nuke Duck's on the wrong side of dodge, can rejoin his team. A pin to movement though, perhaps from Rogue as Markoon. Knocked up by Marang once again. The blast cone back will knock Trimby into three members of XL, and Patrick takes one. Nuke Duck continues to survive, and this time he's buying perhaps enough time to get his team. Through this fight, Nuke Duck gets out. 
ends up being a one for one. And this time around, the overconfidence pays off. Five versus four, and Excel still come out on top. They might turn on towards the objective now. No teleports on either solo laners of Rogue. They could have time, but it's still dangerous. They don't burn it too fast, and Odo and Malrox are right in the vicinity. Larson coming in with Weave as well. Perhaps he can sow some discontent in this Baron take. Death charge onto Odo Wamne. Dredge line's gonna hit as well, but Mickey, you're so deep in the enemy team. You're basically invisible, submerged in the midst of Rogue, and you will fall. Mickey once again, too deep. Maron flashing forward, good flash away from Patrick, but the Cataclysm will lock him in spot. Ricochet, ricochet, boom! As Rogue ripped through the hearts of XL. And XL are wiped off the map once again. It's only Nuke Duck left to watch as his team falls apart. Rogue are looking for the final kill, but they have taken everything from XL. And it's just so difficult to watch because it feels like both teams are getting too over aggressive. They're not willing to just say, you know what, we go for the resets. Now let's get back to have that tempo advantage. Drake has just spawned as well. XL could have cleared out the Baron mission, went towards the Drake instead, pick up that objective, or at least just neutralize it. Swimming through that you can now move into the mid lane instead, go back to the bot lane. So much pressure uh, that XL is going to be under now from Rogue. Rogue just taking over the game. Mickey once again caught out of position, knocked back by Larson, who is on an absolute tear. Markoon going in, but Trimby is able to survive as XL now have to retreat 4v5 in this bottom lane. And from being 0 3 0, Larson now 6 uh, 0 2 0, sorry, now, Larson now 6 2 and 6. On the other side, Nuke Duck has not picked up a kill since those early forays. And really, the unsung heroes of the game, Oduwame and Comp, we haven't really needed to talk about them uh, because their impact, while being quite silent has been very meaningful. Oduwame has been playing these fights extremely well. Comp has been consistently dishing out damage. You can see neither is yet to face death, and Oduwame now finds himself one versus three, and he's forcing XL back. Just, uh, minion here. Patrick doesn't have flash either as well, just due to the fact that he can't really be the one being aggressive here. There is so much pick potential uh, that he goes too far forward. They are just going to lock him down. Oh. In. There's the bring this that steep good hook from Mickey, but they still manage to get onto Patrick, who is taken out immediately. Oh no, coming onto the back line as well as they're tanking this tower for absolutely yonks. A double for Larson. He takes down two. Oda's going to chase away XL. Maorang survives. Rogue lose no one. And XL's hopes lie battered and bruised at the side of top lane. And that's exactly what they were looking for. They got the reset through, they find one pickup, and then they take the turrets. In a five versus three situation now, question is how far can Rogue go? There's still one minute and 30 seconds on the Drake, and as it looks right now, they're gonna pick up the inhibitor, they're gonna be happy about the objective, and Mickey might have something else to say. Mickey, that was not so fine. He's going towards that zero and 10 spike that Broxa mentioned on the yep. Nami as well. Yes, it's, a, it's a struggle though for him, obviously. He's got two ways pushing in as well, both top and bot. Rogue have full control of the map. Markun looking for something, but it's onto Odoamne who will just brush it off. Marang hiding in the Baron pit. Here goes Odoamne. Stun, and there's the knockback. Markun just locked up for an absolute year. Nothing the XL jungler could do to get away from that, apart from just not being there in the first place. Cataclysm going forward, Larson going legendary. And Rogue looking for their seventh playoffs in a row. They missed one. Since then, it has been seven. It's been heaven for Rogue. Nuke Duck, nothing he can do against the oncoming storm that is Rogue. He'll flash away, Baron will be started, and Rogue are punching their ticket to playoffs. What is there left to say other than a complete decimation from Rogue? The early game was looking shaky, but they cleared up their team fights and they were just able to outperform XL. Seeing it again with Trimby. Europe just loves Rakan and they know how to make it work. Last year with our playoffs as well, but yeah, coming through my Coon looking for it, but that's Vi into Sivir for you. It's a tough matchup. That spell shield always yeah. there. It's Vi into Sivir, it's Vi into Stopwatch, it's Vi into viable champions. And right now, Markoon is feeling that as the Last Nexus Tower at the target for Rogue. That was a demolition, Mickey. Unable to stand against the face of Rogue. There's two already. Markoon pops a stopwatch. Nuke Duck goes in with the cataclysm, puts a stopwatch down That's of his own. Three. That's, That's three. That's four. That's four. It's a quadruple comp. They're looking for more. They're looking to give him five. Finn locked up with the Weavers. Whoa, they lock him in place. Comp, one more. Give it to him. The down. stopwatch. Finn delays it. The comp will have his penta. Comp spins the right round, baby, and he's looking to get the win against Excel. Oh, right on theme there as well, very beautiful. And Rogue pick up the win against Excel in a game that looked dire in the early game for the boys in blue, but manage it to turn it back towards the mid to late game and Excel fumble as well for them still jarring towards their road for playoffs and slipping off here when Fnatic and Astralis are playing afterwards. Not what you're looking for. With that, of course, 
Rogue will lock themselves a spot in playoffs. They will also lock Misfits alongside them. That means three out of the six spots have been taken, and XL's journey is only going to get harder from here. Really need to win their last two games and hope that Fnatic and Stralis do not go 3-0 and oh on the week. I will congratulate Comp once again, his first pentakill on the